Ever had to wait 20 minutes just for a streetcar, bus or train to show up late in Toronto? Sometimes they're desolate, sometimes they're packed. Why is that? Sometimes they're shoulder to shoulder in off-peak hours, yet there are also times when there are abundant vehicles passing by with little to no passengers. Is the TTC miscalculating ridership estimates? How do they do this in the first place? Can we develop a model to predict TTC ridership activity in a given time with the knowledge of certain factors? Thus, my research question is to investigate, does Toronto's gas prices, employment rates, wind speed, rainfall, visibility and rel relative humidity linearly affect weekday, daily public transportation ridership numbers? Here's my initial data. I gathered daily ridership numbers and employment rate figures from City of Toronto Open Data and my gas prices were gathered from Statistics Canada. The rest of my data were gathered from Weather Stats Canada. For my response variable, it follows a normal distribution and the numerical summaries make sense, so we do not expect any problem with our regressional analysis so far. Firstly, we have gas prices. From my histogram, it's, it's, it looks like there's a bimodal distribution, which may mean that our errors may not follow a normal distribution, which might be a problem to our regressional assumptions. But from our scatter plot, if we get rid of, if we take the bottom records as outliers, we may be able to observe a slight positive correlation, slight linear relationship between gas prices and TTC riderships. There's also little to no fanning, which means that we can assume that there's constant error variance. And also, we may assume that there's no correlation between the errors. For our employment rate, it follows slight skew of no normal distribution, which may mean again that it might not we may not be able to assume that the errors follow normal distribution. For my scatter plot, we see that it might follow a there might be a slight positive correlation between employment rate and daily ridership. And it is a linear relationship. Since there's little to no finding, again, constant error variance, and the errors do not seem to be correlated based on intuition. Thirdly, we have temperature. And we can see that there's a bimodal distribution, which follows this logic from the same one, the first gas prices, which means that errors might not be normally distributed. Here we can see in the scatter plot that there's not a real linear relationship. So because of this, I am not actually going to consider temperature in my research question and in my investigation. We have relative humidity, which follows a normal distribution with a slight skew. Here we may be able to assume that the errors could be normally distributed since it's very slight. Here in our relative humidity scatter plot, if we assume that the first few relative humidity records are anomalies, we may be able to assume that there's a slight negative relationship between relative humidity and TTC ridership. There's also little to no fanning, again, const constant error variance, and the errors are not correlated based on intuition. Again, we have wind speed, which follows a normal distribution, which means that our errors should follow a normal distribution. For our scatter plot, we may be able to assume that there is a linear relationship. However, it does not seem very clear, so that we have to explore it further in our report. Little to no fanning, which means constant error variance, and the errors do not seem to be correlated. For visibility, we see a almost normal distribution in the middle, but it's not exactly follow it, which may mean that errors do not follow constant variance. And here, since our visibility could follow a slight positive linear relationship, if we consider the ones around 22,000, 
to be anomalies since there is more records we may be able to assume a linear positive linear relationship little to no fanning which means constant error variance and also errors are uncorrelated we have rainfall which is very skewed which means that constant error uh, which means errors may not follow normal distribution and in a scatter, scatter plot we may be able to assume a us we may be able to infer a slight positive relationship linear relationship if you consider the one the later ones at six around six to be outliers and there's little to no fanning so constant error variance and errors are uncorrelated here in our snowfall actually is very very skewed as you can see and in our scatter plot there's a very big cluster around zero and there does not seem to be a linear relationship so i will not be investigating snowfall either in my research question and here are my references which influence my choice of variables and here is where i gathered my data thank you